Welcome back to Marathon Music Works. Time now for the flyweights. Here comes Nathan Lindsay out of Nashville, Tennessee. So fighting in front of his home crowd. Nashville MMA is the club he fights for. This guy is a pretty talented youngster who's trying to get better and better with each passing fight. I'll tell you what, Nathan Lindsay also, he gets to enjoy a four inch reach advantage. So he's a lot taller than the fighter he is fighting tonight. Uh, the kid is absolutely tough. He hasn't had any losses since he's joined Nashville MMA. So his coaches over there are really training with him hard and Sean Hammonds has him going good. Trains with Charlie Alexander, Cromwell Stewart, plus some top professionals. And his coaches in his camp feel he will be the next 125 champ. He has some losses. He's eight and six, but he feels like he's getting better and better. Good look at Nathan Lindsay as he will make his way inside the cage. And the young man will be fighting a Clarksville, Tennessee native, Chance One Chance Wilson, who fights out of Scientific Street Fighting. We'll meet him in just a second. Again, Nathan Lindsay from Nashville. He'll have the crowd behind him. But Clarksville, not too far from Nashville either. And Chance Wilson will certainly have some backing as well. He's fought for V3 before. He has fought in Memphis. And here we go as we change around the music. Mr. DJ playing a different tune. <laughs> and here we see the man they call One Chance. Hamming it up a little bit for the crowd. He's a show pleaser. Oh, yeah. I definitely love watching Chance. He's tough as they come. Uh, he's actually a former V3 flyweight champ. Lost on January 19th to a very tough and deserving Hunter Joffrey. Uh, Chance, great wrestler. He trains at SSF under Ron Daly. Great pros there to kind of coach him along. This kid's tough and he's looking to get this right on the ground. And he lost that fight to Hunter Joffrey by decision in what we call the fight of the night. So he's certainly a capable fighter. Let's take a look at the tale of the tape brought to you by Beast Clothing. Lindsay, 21 years of age, 125 is what he tipped the scales at. He's 5'6 and a hybrid fighter. Meanwhile, Wilson at 21 years of age, 124 at 5'2", so he gives away four inches, and he is a wrestler. So he's going to want to get this one on the ground, I would imagine, Rick. He's going to want to shoot in and try to take him down. And, you know, Nathan's going to want to keep that stand and use his striking ability and his reach. Chance still making his way, and now finally up the stairs and into the cage. Very confident he feels He's the best flyweight in the state. So you got a guy who feels he's the best. You have another guy who feels, or his camp feels, that he will be the eventual champion. We'll find out tonight who takes the next step. Will it be Nathan Lindsay or Chance Wilson? Let's get the introduction of the two fighters with Michael Kelly. V3 Legion, this bout is brought to you by Beast Fighting. And it's set for three, three minute rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the brown trunks. At five feet, six inches, he weighed in at 125 pounds. A hybrid fighter with an MMA record of eight wins and six losses. Representing Nashville MMA and fighting out of Nashville, Tennessee, Nathan Lindsay. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks. At five feet two, he weighed in at 124 pounds. A wrestler with an MMA record of seven wins and one loss. Representing SSF and fighting out of Clarksville, Tennessee, Chance, one Chance Wilson. Third man inside the cage, referee Jason Wilkinson will give final instructions to the two fighters. We're both at the rules meeting. Blue, do you have any questions? Red, do you have any questions? Touch them up. Throw the corners, come out fighting. Jason Wilson, Wilkerson, rather, an imposing figure. <laughs> as Absolutely. He towered the two <laughs> fighters here in this flight weight, a flyweight <laughs> division battle. Lindsey Wilson, again Wilson, only the one loss, and that was to Hunter Joffrey as he lost his V3 flyweight title. Round one, here we go. Wilson and Lindsey. Nathan's in the, he's, he's going to need to come out and establish the center of that cage. 
and not let Chance do anything to get him down on the ground. Almost caught that kick from Chance. Now Chance has him up against the side of the cage, and a nice takedown by Wilson. Great takedown and set up by Chance Wilson. He came in right in, waited for that kick to hit, shot in, and got him against the cage. He could have slammed him, but he wanted to conserve some energy. And Wilson doing what we expect, expected, and that was to take down his opponent. I'll tell you what, Nathan is stuck to him on there. Wow, he, really he is. is just... Wilson trying to get that arm loose. He's able to, and he gets a couple of hammer strikes in. I'll tell you what, Chance knocked somebody out in a, a few fights ago in that exact position with those hammer fifths. That kid's got some power even right there on the ground. Nice. Oh, and then <laughs> great move by Lindsay. <laughs> and Jason Wilkerson calls a timeout. What it was is he kind of threw a half knee, half kick there, and it kind of hit Chance right into the chin, which you can't throw a knee to the chin there. Wilkerson making it pretty clear tonight who's boss. Absolutely. The buck stops with him. Good job by the veteran referee, Jason Wilkerson. And we continue in round number one. And good sportsmanship between the two as they touch gloves. Oh, oh. how about that combination? <laughs> Great straight by Chance, and it dropped Nathan. And Wilson showing his punching ability there. There's a nice uppercut and a good right by Lindsay as they go back and forth. Wilson misses with the overhand right, but again connects with the uppercut to the body. I'll tell you what, Nathan's locked up with him and letting that opening right in the middle. Chance is trying for this takedown. What Chance needs to do is put pressure on his body, get close to him, and pull him up through that. Oh, that is a deep choke. Chance is in that trouble. Lindsay. I don't think he's got it deep enough to put him up. Boy, oh, he might. You could tell Lindsey was strategizing there as he was ready to see if Wilson was going to take him down. He was figuring out what he was going to do, and he's got Wilson in a heap of trouble here. Can he get it in Absolutely. deep it's, enough? It's, kind of, it's turning into a guillotine against a cage now, and it's tight. What he's going to do is he's going to use a cage against him, and I don't know if Chance is strong enough or he's got enough energy to get out of it. It's over. It's over. It's How over. about that? He, wow. he wasn't able to use the cage, but when he fell down, he got him in that position. He got it so deep. And Nathan Lindsay, wow, maybe he will be the next 125 champ. He just beat a very good fighter. Absolutely. Nathan Lindsay put it on there and showed some impressive jujitsu skills. I didn't see that coming. So Nathan Lindsay improves the 9-6. and six. Rick McCracken will make his way towards the cage. We'll get a few words with our winner. And Chance Wilson loses for the second consecutive fight. Again, it was the fight of the night back on January 19th in Memphis versus Hunter Joffrey. And tonight he just couldn't get untracked as Lindsay, the strategist, knew exactly what he was doing all along. And Wilson, a couple of solid combination punches, and he had it on the ground earlier in the round. But we saw what Lindsay is about. Nathan Lindsay, again, all his losses came before joining Sean Hammonds at Nashville MMA. So Sean Hammonds has done wonders with this young man. Let's get the official time of the submission victory for Nathan Lindsay, who improves the nine and six. And then we'll get a few words with our winner from our own Rick McCracken. Michael Kelly standing by inside the cage. And if Mike will look over at me, we'll be able to get the tie. Here we go. Michael Kelly now. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the V3 cage at Marathon Music Works, we present the official time of one minute, 57 seconds in round number one. Referee Jason Wilkerson calls a halt to the bout due to tap out via guillotine choke. Declaring your winner, Nathan Lindsay. And showcasing that Nashville MMA t-shirt, Nathan Lindsay with the victory in less than two minutes to improve to nine and six.